Welcome to another episode of Old Barney's Hobby Handiwork. And wow, what a beautiful morning it is. I'm 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 uh, sitting out on my patio before I get my day started, having my tea. But I wanted to get a little hobby work in this morning. So uh, rather than sit inside, I came outside to putter away on this. And I've been wanting to try doing some green stuff sculpting for forever because you know I see some of the results that people get and it's amazing um, wanted to give it a try and also I've had this idea in my mind for a long time that uh, so I have my Isengard troll here okay and it comes with a lot of extra pieces so I've got these pieces here ready to go and of course it doesn't want to focus now there we go Bring it over here and so the head and the hands and arms are going to be probably the most difficult part of uh, doing sculpting uh, but they're already done I can use these pieces on the model and I wanted to try building my sort of armature for the miniature out of old sprue so, so I've just started working on that and I have a base set aside so this piece here I've got is I want to try using this for the torso so I have my my miniature out here so I can scale it up so I'm kind of gonna do something like this I think I've gone a little large on it so I'm gonna have to sort of cut it down a bit and then these are uh, gonna be the leg pieces I have which again might be a little bit large so I'm going to try to build my armature out of uh, out of this old sprue. And then I'm going to glue my uh, at least my arms and my head onto it. And then I'll I'll fill it out with some more sprue as much as I can cuz like the chest the, let me get my hands around this thing. The chest of this model, these trolls like it's quite thick so I can probably add a fair amount of plastic sprue in there before I start covering it up with uh, green stuff or molding putty. I'm kind of thinking that once I get my armature done I'm not going to immediately go to green stuff. Um, I'll probably either mix green stuff with another modeling putty or just go with an, the other type of modeling putty which I'm going to try to get milli putt just to do the, the central core of the model and then I'll build it out from there. And I started with the troll only because it's a large figure and it should make it easier for for sculpting. I've never tried sculpting before. Um, I did when you know, I was a lot younger and more into art. Um, but nothing with green stuff really. I've done a little bit of work here and there with green stuff, you know, like filling molds or putting hair on models and stuff like that and I find it is a very difficult uh, medium to work in just because it's so sticky uh, and I know you know you use water and everything to help with that but it's still for me it's a very difficult product to use but we're gonna try it and see how it goes um, so yeah I'm just gonna putter away on this for a while and see how far I can get be back later Okay, I'm back after working on this guy for about an hour, and he was, the torso piece I had was a little too tall, so I ended up cutting it in half and just shrinking it down by, I don't know, maybe half a centimeter. And then I've uh, glued the legs on to the bottom, I've added a couple more uh, like vertical rail pieces here on the front just to thicken up the torso and then just added some cross members on the front and on the back just to sort of uh, build up the skeletal structure I guess and I've just added in some little bits of off cuts of plastic sprue in here just to fill this area out because every bit of plastic sprue I use is less putty and then I've added kind of this I don't know what you would call that, like a stock to I'll mount the head on the front of this. So the head is going to go on the front here of this. Because you can see the, on the model, the, let me see here, 
can see how the head sort of like really juts out forward on the model. So that's why I've done that. And in terms of scale, it's really handy to have this model here that I'm trying to sort of replicate right beside me because it's like I think I've got the scale where I need it and I've gotten to the point now where I don't think I can really add any more plastic sprue without it sort of jeopardizing the like you don't want to come too far out with the plastic sprue because it's got to be covered over a hundred percent so that you can mold the finished product so that's where I am now kind of not sure if I should glue it onto the base because it may interfere with the the process of trying to sculpt it. I think I'll hold off on that so I guess I need to do something with his feet as well. I'm not sure if there's enough material there to actually put a foot like with plastic screw. Maybe I'll give it a try. Yeah, I don't really know if what I'm doing is the right way to do this. I'm kind of learning by doing here. Anyway, I'll be back shortly. Well, it's the next day, and quite a few cups of tea later. I've got this guy not finished, but I think the armature is, is pretty much finished. So I ended up mounting him on the base, and I added some pieces there on for his feet. So these trolls appear to just have two toes. So I added two pieces in there, and I may have to file them down a bit as well, but <clears throat> you can see this guy's arms and head are attached. He stands a little taller than the other one, which I think is okay because this guy is kind of standing up straight, whereas this guy is kind of, he's sort of marching forwards. You can see how he's bent right over and his knees really bent, and this guy isn't. But I think the proportions are reasonably okay. There's one flaw that I don't like, and you can see it really well here. It's his sword arm, which is here. This looks like it might be a little bit too much to the right by just a few centimeter millimeters. So I'm debating whether or not I take my hobby saw to that or not. I brought it up, so like I'm thinking I might just cut that off and then cut some of this material off and then move that over a little. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do it, but I probably will. But other than that, it's I'm pretty happy with the scale. I put his arms sort of out to the sides. I'm going to have to make a shield for this guy, uh, which I'll have to scratch build. But I've put his arms kind of out to the side so that they won't interfere with me trying to uh, sculpt the, the rest of the body, but we'll see how that goes. Not the most dynamic pose, but whatever. It's my first try at this, so I do, I do have some old green stuff here too. I got two, two bricks of old green stuff, and I've been doing some, uh, some other work with a little bit of that, and some of the yellow stuff seems to be a little, I get like chunks of the yellow that doesn't break down. So I'm not sure if it's because it's old or what, but because of that, I think I might just use those pieces to fill in sort of the, the bottom layer of this, of this guy or the starting layer, I guess. But anyway, that's it for now. I'm not sure if I'll do more on this today or not, but we'll be back. So I've gone ahead and removed that arm, and you can see here, uh, I don't know how well you can see this here, let me back up a bit. So I have like a piece of sprue along here, and then I've had to add in another piece here, and angle that to sort of be in line with the rest of the shoulder so that I can glue that back on. And here's my, uh, my arm. And I sort of filed that down so it'll be flat. So just waiting for that one piece of sprue to just dry a little bit and then I'll glue that back on. But you can see that I've also gone round 
and I'm trying to fill in the gaps, all these little gaps with pieces of sprue. I added a long one down the back and I've done the same around the other side. Just so that when I start covering this with, uh, with green stuff, like I don't lose gobs and gobs of it into these into these holes. And I added another like a little cross piece here on top for the neck, just to give that a bit more strength. And like over here, I had added all kinds of little bits in uh, on top of the shoulder to. Uh, provide more surface for the glue to adhere to and so I've gone around and I've with my hobby knife and my file I've smoothed that down so that it's going to be below the level that it needs to be so I can cover it with material and I've actually gone around the entire model with my with my knife and any of the pieces that are had a hard edge I've been scraping them off uh, even on the uh, the feet here. I've, I've uh, done my best to like trim them down just so that I can completely cover them with with the green stuff. I didn't want any pieces to be jutting out. You can see there I've been filling in the, the gaps in the chest and just I don't know if you can see it well but like just here smoothing off that and like I had a big corner piece jutting out here carve that down so and then glue that on glue that arm on and then maybe put a bit of green stuff on a few spots just to see how it goes maybe across the top of the shoulders here okay so I'll be back in a bit well I did a little bit more green stuff than I had planned um, I didn't glue the sh arm back on just because I thought Seeing as I'm going to put some green stuff on, I'd leave it off for the moment just to get this first layer on. Uh, and it didn't use as much material as I thought it would, so I just kind of kept going. I had two full bars, and I cut a little off this one. Probably used half of this one, so I haven't used a full bar of the green stuff, but I've got kind of a surprising amount of coverage out of it. Again, this is just the first sort of under layer that I'm doing. Once I get that done, I can, uh, I'll have to wait for it to, to dry, pardon me, but I'll have to, uh, doing, doing the detail work is going to require, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Well, okay, I can't really do this with only one hand, but I'm going to be putting this piece on. And hold on one second. Okay, so fortunately that sticks onto the green stuff really nice. So putting that piece of armor on will cover that front sort of quarter of the torso, which is great. And I think what I'm going to try to do is on this model, maybe on top of the shoulders, I'm going to try to uh, sculpt some armor plating because it'll be a lot easier to do that than it will be to um, sculpt you know the the body of the creature so I may try to do that in other places maybe perhaps on the uh, parts of the legs as well we'll see how it goes I don't know but I think this is going to be all I can do on this right now because I'm having trouble now holding on to it to apply more green stuff without actually touching the green stuff um, so probably going to be it for today and I'll just let this stuff dry for a couple days and uh, yeah so it's going fairly well so far but this has been the easy part I think the hard part is going to be the actual detailed sculpting but actually looks like a troll just like sort of robotic but anyway I'll be back later well I've got this guy completely covered now in green stuff just a thin layer uh, covering the entire armature and I think, well I started with, uh, where's my green stuff, there it is I started with two full bars and probably have about half of one left so that took about one and a half bars of, of green stuff you can see over there I got another big supply ready to go but uh, I won't need near that much uh, probably use less than what I've used so far finishing this guy off 
Um, but now the the difficult part starts. I've probably got about three hours, maybe three and a half hours of work into this guy. But it's been pretty uh, pretty casual, uh, just gluing stuff together and sticking green stuff to to the uh, the armature. Um, I've been using this tool here, which is a Games Workshop tool, and, and for this purpose it was excellent. Um, for the actual sculpting, I th I'm going to get my hands on some of the sort of rubber-tipped tools. Uh, this piece of armor is just stuck on there. I actually built that up and pressed that uh, piece of armor down over there so it would fit snug. I think I'm going to leave this guy probably for about a week and a half now. It's Wednesday and I have a tournament this weekend uh, in Guelph called Fog of maybe 20 to 24 people. So I have to get my army ready for that. Uh, so I probably won't be able to work on this guy for a week and a half. But in the meantime, I think I'll probably get my, uh, my sketchbook out and sort of try to plan what I'm going to sculpt because I want to try to put you know some clothing some belts uh, some armor and maybe some chain mail on this guy uh, as as much as I can because it's going to be easier to sculpt that kind of stuff than it will be to to sculpt um, just like this kind of like lumpy skin and and whatnot I'm just thinking it'll be easier for me to like make you know armor plating and chainmail shirt or something like that. So you can see the scale on this guy. Is, I got it, I think, fairly decent. So it turned out I'm pretty happy with it to be honest, for especially for my first try. But honestly, this is where the hard start, hard uh, work starts now is doing the detailed sculpting. So we'll see how we do at that. But anyway, that's it for now. Back in uh, probably a week and a half.